What is going on everybody, it's Skills here on the Gaming Channel, and in today we are going to be breaking down my Weasel build. Now, if you guys watch my Boomer build, you guys can actually use that same build on this one right here. So you can use the Boomer build on this boss and do just fine, but for each boss, I like to have a different build, and I actually have five different builds for the raid. So if you guys watched any of my other builds, or if you haven't, well, they're on this channel. So just make sure you just browse through, look for them, and you can find the build for the other bosses. Now, if you guys have any questions on this build, always ask me. But like I said, if you guys don't have the right pieces to build this one, well, if you already have the Boomer build, you might be doing just fine. But if you wanna get those faster times, creating specific builds for each boss is going to help you and your team out and you know each person has a role so let's dive into the build itself and kind of break down how i have this build set up so if we dive into this build you're going to notice that i am running 11 offensive one defensive five utility and then we have 213k armor 31k health and around 700 skill power give or take. So if we look, I am running a SVD, which gives me almost 92,000 damage, 18 round mag, because I do have lucky shot on here. Magazine, magazine capacity is increased by 20%. Missed shots from cover have 100% chance to return to the magazine. You have 15% weapon stability on this bad boy, and we have everlasting on there. If we look at how we have it modded, we are running the C79 scope, the 5% damage to elites. We are running five round mag. We are running a 10% stability grip with a muzzle break of 5% damage to elites. So on this build, because we are running the scope, this gives us 15% headshot damage while holstered. Now our primary is going to be the nemesis. And then we are running with the sharpshooter pistol, which gives us while holster 5% weapon handling. But that's enough about the weapons. Let's get into the build, which makes this. So we are running the Night Watcher, the named Gila Guard mask, which gives us perfect spotter. It has 5% total armor because of one piece Gila Guard. Then we have 51% damage to elites on here. We have skill haste, and then we have a utility mod. That's what's great about having this mask because it lets us unlock two yellows already because we need five total for a perfect spotter, which is 20% weapon damage to pulse enemies. And I recommend for any utility mod that you get a roll on your piece, you want to put skill haste because that's going to let you switch through your builds faster without getting stuck on the cooldown. For the chest piece, we are running a three piece heraldry. We have perfect vigilance, gain 30% weapon damage, taking damage disables his buff for four seconds, seven or more offensive. We have 11, we're good there. We have headshot damage on here and weapon damage. The two rolls you want for Weasel 100%. And then we have an offensive mod slot that's gonna give us marksman rifle damage, damage to health and weapon damage. Now we do have a blue roll in there and just put whatever you want, armor, total armor. For the holster, we are running a two piece Alp Summit. 20% skill haste, 10% skill power, 13.5% critical hit chance. We have precise on here for that 15% headshot damage. We got a utility mod, so we're now at three utility, almost at five for perfect spotter, and then an offensive mod for that weapon damage, marksman rifle damage. We get into the knee pads. The knee pads are going to be our second piece of Viraldi. Now these knee pads are another one you wanna roll that skill haste that gives us the four utility, so we only need one more. We have composure on here. While in cover, we get 10% total weapon damage. So that's 11 um, offensive. We hit it just enough. So you do wanna get 11 to get uh, composure unlocked. And we have offensive mod on here for marksman rifle damage and weapon damage. For the gloves, we have the motherly love gloves. We have skill haste on here. We have skill power. And then we do get 11% marksman rifle damage. And the reason why I love the motherly love gloves is because they have perfectly opportunistic. Enemies you hit take 15% more damage from all sources. That means my teammates, when I get a shot on that target, they'll get also that 15% more damage. So that's why perfectly opportunistic is a great talent as a team role. You might not want to have too many people running it, but it's definitely how I like running mine when we hit that build right there. Now, the great thing about these gloves is that they do come in offensive role. So I do have an offensive system firearm roll on here with 5% marksman rifle damage and 1% weapon damage. So ideally, you can switch these gloves out for a lot of things. You can go with Wicked for the 15% to status effect enemies. You can go with straight weapon damage, devastating. Different ways you can run it, but I'm just letting you know that's how I like running it with this build. Now for the backpack, this is our third piece of Viraldi, so we're getting that 10% marksman rifle damage. We have 9% weapon damage. Then we have a 5.5 critical damage. I would rather have a utility roll here. And then 
that would put me at five. I'm at five because of my utility mod slot, and I would like to swap those two. This has hard hitting for the 25% damage to elites, plus spark. So spark is giving us 15% weapon damage. We need nine or more offensive enemies who take damage from skills or explosion. And don't worry, our skills will help us activate this. If we get into our skills, we are running the striker drone. The striker drone is going to help us proc spark. There are two different ways you can spark spark through a skill or if you have the nemesis and when the explosion damage happens. Let's break down the stats real quick just so we can show you what I'm working with. When I'm using the nemesis, 13.5% critical chance, 46% critical damage, 217% headshot damage, and that alone, right, that 217 is going to let us hit really hard. We have 29% all weapon damage on the bill, 55% marks and rifle damage, and 91% damage to elites. So the 91% damage to elites with a little bit of crit chance, crit damage, and that high headshot damage of 217% is what's allowing us to put out so much work. Now remember, you got to pair that up with talents like Perfect Vigilance, which gives us 30% weapon damage. Composure, which gives us 10% de total damage while we're in cover. We have perfectly opportunistic enemies you hit 15% more damage. We have damage to elites on here, 25% more damage to elites on here. We have spark, an additional 15% weapon damage for enemies who take damage from skills or explosion. And then perfect spotter, 20% weapon damage to pulse enemies. You line that up with tip of the spear, which gives you more damage on top of that. And then um, when someone's running aces and eights, it's just a lot of damage. And this damage on this nemesis is already at 578. Thousand. Like I told you for the gloves, you can run a talent like Wicked when you apply a status effect, gain 15% weapon damage for 20 seconds, like you see what I run in Boomer. You can really run any talent you want. Um, ideally, the talents that give you a little bit more damage are always going to be a little bit better. So stuff like Perfectly Opportunistic, Wicked, stuff like that is always going to benefit you more than just putting something like Devastated on the gloves. But you can run Devastating here if you want. I just feel this is ideal on how to make the most efficient build itself. Remember, if you guys have any questions on how to run this build, let me know in the comment section. Look, if you look at, if you like, we try to break down my build. Look at that. We have a lot of talents going off on this one right here. I actually put Wicked on it. So I have status effects going on. I have Spark going on. I have Vigilance going on. I have Composure going on. I have Aces and Eights because it's being procced right now. I just have a lot of talents and all these talents alone are what's making this build hit so hard and that's what's allowing you to drop these bosses so quick and your team to work as a unit and that's just something you guys need to practice and work two things always run a tip of the spear and always run an aces and eights on your speed run teams or even just running a raid itself i think those two builds can help people who are running regular runs perform that much better I hope these builds have been helping you, your teammates out, giving you guys ideas of how to improve your builds to make your runs go a little bit smoother. Remember, these builds aren't only made for speed runs. Like you can run these builds on a regular run, you know, it just take your time. And as long as you're putting out a lot of DPS, you're gonna drop these bosses fast and it's just a lot easier to use. So I just recommend trying them out, improve your builds, work as a team, and you guys should be perfectly fine. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these builds um if you guys have any questions if you guys want to ever catch me live you can go to twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills and that's a great place to interact with me personally live um even if i'm playing a different game don't feel like you can't ask me about like the division say hey um i had a question about this on your raid run or i had a question about this on your farming builds or where's a good place you can ask whatever you want on those streams and that's what's a great place to catch me Remember, the Boomer one-shot build was already put out. The Lucy and Buddy build is put out. And then you have the Weasel build that is put out. So hopefully these builds um, help improve your team as a whole. And then hopefully you continue to create your builds, tweak them, make them your own. So that way you guys can get through the runs just as fast as we get through the runs. This will wrap up our series, right? This was going to wrap up our series on the Division 2 raid build. So hopefully... These builds right here that I released this week, this past week, help you guys out. I did release an Aces and Eights build on the main channel. If you guys want to see how to kind of build that for team play, I did just release that. But this is the final build, and I hope you guys knock out the raid, get that Eagle Bear. But we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys again. Until the next one, nothing but skills is out.